Hello. Today we'll be discussing about this error 2502 and 2503 encountered in Windows uh, computer when we are trying to install or uninstall a software. Now I have already blocked about it on my blog so I'm not gonna demonstrate uh, entirely but we'll be just discussing the steps to resolve this issue. Now when we are trying to um, install or uninstall any software we will get an error message like this the installer has encountered an unexpected error installing this package this may indicate a problem with this package the error code is 2502 or 2503 so how to resolve this issue now uh, the error message looks something like this this is an example um, of this error when I was trying to uninstall Microsoft SQL Server 2008 from my computer so um, this is what it will look like the error message so uh, on the internet when we try to look for solutions on this one we will find a lot of uh, solutions sort of uh, shared by other users uh, some of them may not work in your case as it was in my case so we'll just walk through the other solutions that we find online and we will also uh, uh, look at the solution which worked in my case so probably some of the solutions may work for you as well and some of you uh, some of the solutions may not work for you as well so anyways you can just uh, try it out so one of the solutions that you will find online is to create a batch file to kill the explorer and try executing the install and uninstallation process. Now, uh, I will put a link to my blog here uh, in the description, but uh, probably uh, the assumption for this solution is that uh, the Windows Explorer is causing the problem, but it was not in my case. Anyways, if you want to try it out, you can. Uh, uh, execute this uh, code in a batch file by the way a batch file is uh, a small text file which has uh, Microsoft uh, MS-DOS commands and which you can execute it directly so uh, this is the code that is explained uh, basically what it's doing is it's reg unregistering and registering the uh, Explorer program so here we are killing the explorer program and we and restarting the explorer program. So uh, you can try creating this batch file and run it and see if that and see if that resolves the problem. As I commented here, it did not work in my case. Uh, the second method is to kill the explorer process from the task manager and retry. Also, uh, the solution is also um, indicating that the problem is with explorer, but this did not work in my case as well the third uh, method which actually worked in my case was to add the current user in the windows temp folder properties and security tab sorry this is spelling error here uh, so uh, how to add um, the current user in the windows temp folder uh, the process is given here uh, we'll just walk through you will pull up your uh, Windows Explorer and then go to C Drive go to Windows and you will look for a folder called temp so you will right click here go to its properties I don't know whether you won't be able to see it okay let me just drag it a little up Anyways, if, even if you cannot see, I'm going to properties. By the way, I have upgraded uh, my Windows to Windows 10, so uh, it looks a little different. Otherwise, uh, you will get uh, the users uh, listed here. But in Windows 10, it's slightly different, so I'm going to advanced. And under permissions tab, I'll click continue and these are the list of users or the groups so as you can see i have administrators group added i did not add this but this is by default i have administrators uh, that means uh, all users on this computer who have administrators access 
has uh, full control on this folder whereas users have special controls so uh, this when this issue occurs that means uh, if you're getting the error 2502 and 2503 when you're trying to install or uninstall software when you come to the windows temp uh, properties folder here uh, under permissions you may already find that the administrator already has full control but still you are getting that error message in that case what you have to do is you have to add your user uh, id to this list so how to add is just under permissions tab just click add you will get a select user group prompt window like this and you just need to type in your username and check name the username is found so I'll click OK and you will give full permissions to this user and then click OK so here what I've done is I have given uh, my user ID full control on this temporary folder so after that you click apply click OK and exit now even without this I don't have any issue on this uh, Windows 10 right now so I'm just gonna remove that cancel it cancel it and I'm going out so as we have seen the process on Windows 7 is listed here we'll open Windows Explorer and navigate to C Windows we'll find the temp folder right click on the temp folder and select properties on the security tab under group or username we'll click edit we'll click add to add a new user at enter the object name to select we'll enter the current user and click check name after that we'll click ok and under group or username we'll find the current user that we just added to select and then we'll grant full access to the current user click ok apply ok now this solution worked in my case after I did this I did not get the error 2502 and 2503 and I was able to install and uninstall software without any issues so you can try this um, it should work now just in case if you uh, if you have not done this and you just want to uninstall a particular software then even if you don't do this you can still uninstall software without getting the error 2502 or 2503 how to do that is to go to the uh, windows installer folder now when we install a new program most of the installers are, are dropped here There's a location C slash Windows slash installer and this is where all the installation files are kept. So if you are facing the 2502 and 2503 issue only when you are uninstalling the software then you can also go to uh, C Windows installer and click anywhere right click anywhere on the tabs here on the headers click more and find subject here click ok now you should have subject here so click here to sort by subject now after the list of installers are sorted by subject you should be able to find the software that you are trying to uninstall easily the next thing that you will do is you will run command prompt as an administrator And then you will navigate to C installer. These are the installers that you have here. So once it's sorted by subject, you will scroll down 
and you will find the um, MSI file for your particular software. For example, we are trying to uninstall. Uh, okay, let's uninstall 7-zip. So what we'll do here is we'll copy or maybe you can rename the file just copy the file name or you can just note the file name it starts with 30C7F and type 30C7F press tap and it will automatically find the rest of the characters now you will press enter and the setup file will run from here you can uninstall the uh, software so this can be used as a workaround if you are facing the error uh, 2502 and 2503. If you are facing this issue when you are trying to uninstall the software, then you can go to, uh, as discussed, you can go to C Windows Installer, this directory, C Windows Installer, and find the uh, corresponding MSI file for that particular program that you are trying to uninstall, and then run the MSI file from your command prompt as an administrator then the setup file will run and you will be able to uninstall your program successfully uh, i won't be uninstalling this so i'll just click cancel for now finish close so that fix is also uh, uh, listed here so you just need to go to your c windows installer and then um, include the column subject and then sort by subject which you will which will help you to easily find the program that you are trying to uninstall and then you should open a command prompt uh, as an administrator and uh, once you find your MSI file name you just need to run that and the installation or the setup file will run from which you can uninstall the program without the 2502 and 2503 error so that's it guys if you're facing uh, 2502 and 2503 errors when you're trying to install or uninstall uh, software then um, this is the workaround that worked in my case which is adding the current user to the Windows 10 folder uh, properties uh, under permissions or if you are only facing the 2502 or 2503 error when you're trying to uninstall a software then you can find the uninstall file from windows installer directory and then run the msi file from command prom logged in as an administrator that's it